guys, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 6 of Shadowhunters, entitled Of Men and Angels. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes just a few seconds. Last episode was pretty solid. They're still trying to get the cup. We have this whole werewolf thing going on and on. We got Simon. Really wants to go back to just being a vampire. He, or he wants to become one. And then we have Luke, who we knew was a werewolf, uh, reveals to be on our side. And that's really where we're at with it. Uh, Valentine still wants the deal of, hey, give me the cup. You can have your mother. But we know he wants to do the cup for bad things. So far, we have werewolves. We have uh, paraplees. We have um, vampires. We got people on our side and a warlock. Right now, to heal Luke, they got to go to Magnus to get that bite taken care of. So that's where we're going to pick up with this one. I'm going to go ahead and put Jerry behind the scenes. And let's watch of men and what angels. He, was he needs a warlock. He needs you. Put him here. Where are you? I can't find you. Where, where are you? Where are you? You're reaching out to the the ancestral puppy dog realm. Oh, he got ringworm on his neck too. Where I always was. This isn't two circles. That was what that was Scott McCall's group, wasn't it? I'm here now. I've been waiting for you. Was he been by now? Yeah, why? Three, two, one. Oh my god. He called that shit, didn't he? Oh, 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 oh. He gave him an old piece of beef jerky. It has some onion dip on it. You hear that? That's my Beautiful. fucking space bar now working. Ooh, got blood on your fingers. Don't do it. You start sucking your fingers, bro, as shit. No, no. Don't do it. It's like a cat. Meow. You okay? I've doubted him. Sam, he's, he's a very easily, like everybody else. You gave you reason to doubt him, so you did. But then you found out that there was no doubt to be had. You got to forgive yourself and forgive him, even though you shouldn't have blamed him in the first place. But you didn't know any better. It was a bunch of conflicting information. You know? Only father I've ever known. I, I can't lose him. Tell me what you need and how to get it. No, you stay here. Luke will need you if he wakes up. What? Are they trying to convince me that that backdrop's actually the city? Because I can tell. It's not even CGI, it's just poster board. It's just flat. Maybe it's just wallpaper he has out there to make it look nice. That's what I'm assuming. When he wakes up. I'll go. I'll go. Jace. Jace, just ask, please. You guys need to talk. Hey, you gotta hash that shit out, bro. Trouble in paradise? Just don't speak to me. See, Magnus doesn't know that they're family. Or step family, but still. you do nothing started a fire with his stella during rune studies oh my goodness kid come on max i told you i was hungry i was trying to draw the nourishment rune those two runes look nothing alike max well they do to me max go up to your room open the gray book is he and look up the extinguished rune is he dyslexic that'd be crazy you write runes you're dyslexic you draw all types of shit and cause havoc apocalypse all the other bullshit wild imagine Hey, what are you gonna do about it? Where is Cl What's all this for? The base for the potion. And boy's literally making chicken and dumplings. Which sounds fire, by the way. Ooh, uh, he Sorry. made a white materia. We need to have it ready before your boys get yeah, back. What if they don't get back in time? You can't think like that, Biscuit. That's <laughs> all I can think about. I don't know. It's it's a lot easier to, from the outside looking in. You don't know how directors work and everything else like that. But I just think it would have been hilarious if she's like she responds to that and then she's like, "Did you just call me biscuit?" Like just to have the moment to, you know, don't take yourself yeah, too seriously. Student, all my adventures are supposed to be two dimensional. Mm -hmm. Did you stop calling me that? I have a name. 
Well, learning it would mean I care, so no. Nope. Yeah, well. God forbid you care about anyone but yourself. Well. About a bunch of people. Just don't care about you. Well. Or what, what's it called? Your, your parabatized? Ooh. Watch your mouth. Hey, watch where you're going with that now. You don't know a thing about me and Alec. You clear? 20 bucks says he leaves you hanging tonight. Not a chance. Really? Come, fetch, roll over. You don't lie down. You treat him like a lap dog. Yes, it takes one to know one. What's that supposed to mean? Mean Chase. You're like a yippy dog nipping at Clary's heels. I don't nip, and she's my best friend. That's all she's ever gonna be. <sighs> Have you seriously not figured that out yet? Look, I don't want Clary. It's anything more than a best friend. Right. And I'll have you know that there are tons of women who have more than a friend feelings for me. You have one you don't even fucking pay attention to, dipshit. Second of all, you want Clary more than you want to fucking breathe. Don't be trying to downplay that in front of Jace. Try to look tough and shit. Where are they? And I can say for you or Alec. You do not get to talk about Alec. Mundane. Yeah, you can't get mad at him talking about Alec and you turn around and talk about his best friend, Clary. You know, it's... Uh, come on. I told you, don't call me one day. Are we clear? There's a little fight in him. What are you going to do now? Now I look at this blank page and I barely even know what to do. Oh, but the page isn't blank, darling. Snap his fingers, the image is going to pop up. Ah, it's I'm a demon. Like my art, my memories, my life. I'll vanish with that memory demon. Your art. You did. She definitely lost her memories from the demon and stuff, but I just feel like over the course, she should definitely figure out a way to regain it. You know, these memories are stronger than some shit that got wiped away from you. It's still deep inside your memory core, something along those lines, right? Everything you are. And yeah, maybe you get the drawing, you can unlock memories. those memories because she did the runes, so. You're the woman your mother always knew you could be. But I decide. We must never violate our oath. Because this is our sacred duty. But by the time my people came to know him. Boy, I thought that was like four different people. First, I thought it was uh, the young Schwarzenegger kid. The dude that was in Gen V. But I was like, nah, that doesn't make any sense time-wise. Then I was like, is that Daniel Tosh? And I was like, nope. Then it showed his face. That's nobody. That's a guy. Hello. Barely Hello, hot man. His name had become synonymous with devastation. Mother told me it was then she first saw the signs. I saw the signs. Ow. Are you hurt? Bodies. We'd all stood with the clay for centuries. How could that not matter to? He was obsessed with ensuring purity of blood. Convinced that the impurities were a threat to peace. What is a threat to peace? A madman rarely makes sense. Mostly they just hate. Madman rarely so makes sense. They just hate. That is a bar. Nothing but a fact. He could not have. He hated us enough to kill us all. Wipe them out. Isabel, all of them. Her. You're too soft on her. It invaded my life. So many downloaders have helped me. Not even thinking about what it might cost them. How could Valentine not see good in any of them? So, I think what she's going to do is be the person to bring... Like, she's kind of already doing the, the Shadow Hunters and the Downworlders kind of together. Like, yeah, they hunt them, but I think they could benefit from helping them for the good ones until somebody else goes far enough to break another treaty type deal. But she could be the, the chosen one to help bring peace, you know? At least that's the vibe I'm getting, because everybody her whole life's been helping to protect her because she's Jocelyn's daughter. So just off principle of this pedestal that Jocelyn's on, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what comes of that. His ambition. Yeah. Did the slave stop him? He was clever. He and his followers, they managed to convince the clave that the downworlders they killed on their special missions had violated the accords in some way. Complete fabrications. How could the clave not see? Shadow hunters believe in the law as absolute. They can never conceive of an absolute. Of one of their own going astray. My father didn't go astray, Agnes. He would destroy the accord. Ooh, there's the cup. Murder down borders. Yup. And secure the cup. I do good. Look at that chalice right there.
All this for a goddamn cup. Terrible. I had a plastic cup you could have borrowed if you wanted it. How, could... How many fucking cuts you gonna have? Swing and a miss. So the left blocks it. Here comes uppercut. Misses actually with a left hook, a right hook, a spinning back elbow. Grab him by the arm. Throws him across the way right onto the line. Picks up the light bright sword dagger. Walks over. Gonna finish him off right now with a big final blow. He done killed through everybody else. Now he's gonna do this one right here. But Joss at the last minute is gonna save the day with a big no. Barangas hang. Can't believe you've done this. Watch your ankles. Superhero landing. That's a butterfly knife. Throw that shit down. I got a blade too. It's in my pants the whole time. Fight. Block. Block. Nope. Nope. Can't do that there. Nope. Spin over. Nope. to save Luke. I'm not hanging back like some third wheel. You are third wheel. And I wasn't asking. You just gonna leave your sword right here? Where did they keep that the whole time, though? Got a little pocket thing for it? Camille? Oh, brother, you are down bad. Yep, now you're seeing things. Way to go. Way to go, bucko. Run! Boy, did a motherfucking kip up, son. Do you have it? Yeah. That was a random bag of bullshit. Oh, let me fall into your arms right there, Alec. Look at y'all, man. Y'all did it. You okay? Yeah. Oh, he like gon' be aight. Now, I know they're probably pressed on time the amount of episodes they gave, but last episode and this episode would do so well if you got a chance to just expand on things a little more. Like, you, you say these words and you say them out loud and they really have no meaning behind them. But like, if you gotta get some phoenix eyes and a fucking a mothball, like, go explain what that is as you're getting it. Where did it come from? Cotton Eye Joe, like, where'd you find it at? How did they get it? You know, there's just, there's layers of stuff you can add on to expand the world a lot more rather than just bang, 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 bang. Even when they threw you. What's going on between you and dad? What is up with this? I mean, their, their logo looks like the, like if you're in an anatomy class and they show you a uterus, like you got the eggs, boop, 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 you get, you know? Is that what that's supposed to be? Is that like the givers of life? If so, it's a good pun. You think I can't pick up on it? Keep your voice down. This is not about me and your father. It's about Alec. And I'll do anything to protect him. See, look, she even got it right here. She got the, the whole thing up to the... I'll love it. Well, Fallopian tubes. This. You and your downworld are just into that. You can't possibly attract the caliber of husband who could help us restore the honor to our family name. The honor comes from the deed. When you truly understand. I was about to say, bro, I hope they just went up and traded a little hug. Yeah, we're brothers. Parapetize. You have an interesting pair, effect on people. Parapetize, pair of guys. We're just a couple pair of guys. Pull Clary Fry. He helped save Luke's life. You all did. There's a, it's cool. There's a crisp $20 bill. It's not that crisp bag. I'm not been wadded up for a while. He feels bad. Speed. Ooh, rune guessing game. Courage and Carmen. Wrath. Nourishment. Max. You know this is the heat rune. Oh, Motherfucker said nourishment. You, you little devil. I want to catch you. <laughs> Max, could we have a moment? I never get to hear the good stuff. I swear, Max, bro. It's always some bullshit. They got you out here dressed like a little fucking politician. You can't even hang out and listen to adult conversations. Terrible. Sorry, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I'm used to it by now. I wish you could understand how difficult it is to be your own children's commander. You've made your priorities pretty clear. All right. Magnus told you about the uprising? Yeah. About the Valentine who murdered all those people? Yes. The, reason the Valentine's Day Massacre. Back was back back back. Fault. Mine and Jocelyn's. 
I don't believe you. We betrayed him, Clary. Your mother and I. Betrayed him how? Did y'all have a little thing thing? Obviously you did. But... See, there it is. Step daddy. Did you? Oh, they definitely slept together. And no, she's not. He ain't your dad. You ain't got no rhythm. And you like the red hair, the pasty skin. You ain't got none of that in you. You got no good genes. No melanin. That's okay. Valentine was my pair, but I. Oh, shit. We both loved him. But as his rhetoric got more violent, and he became more. Who's your pair, but I? The pair, guys. Oh. Combative with the clave. We started to worry. Fair. He was obsessed with. with I mean, the way you fucking rubbing her face and holding her shoulders during the hug, bro. I'd be thinking you have an affair, too, shit. Bring Jocelyn's heart back. Ah. For love, he was willing to do anything, even compromise his own principles. He became fixated on becoming a better soldier. Ah, so he became Hitler. Awesome. Led him to do the unthinkable. Yeah, went to create super soldiers and shit. With downworld of blood. Yeah. Demon. Yep. Bell. That'll do it, dog. Bell. Hey, hey, Bell. He was honorable, idealistic, a good dude. He was charismatic. Look at that. Oh, solid chap. Just mom's type. Just like you. Two peas oh, in the no. same pod. A pair of guys. I came close. He was a leader. Devoted to protecting us from dying pointless. Motherfucker, deaths. you an alpha now. And you believe? Backstabbing traitor, son of a bitch. I still, I, every time I see him, I'm just gonna think of the Disney Channel. I can't help it. He betrayed our pair of Taiwan. And then he betrayed everything else he believed in. I would just like it better if the pair of Taiwan, like if one of them died, the other one died. If there was more like in depth to it, like if one of them dies, the other one, like a part of them dies, like just a part though, like at least get more wounded, I guess. Why aren't you dead? Because I'm a shadow hunter. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm sorry. I can't see you anymore. Oh. She got a breakup with her little boy toy sex thing. That's terrible. Yeah, see, they, they done got her playing this politician role, politician ass outfit. Yep, looking just like your mother. Dressed up and everything. Terrible. Who the fuck has he got to marry? It's always a phone call that interrupts all the good moments, right? All the time. Every time somebody's getting close to somebody, like, fuck, put your shit on mute. On mute. Stop it. I don't remember any. Also, but be careful, bang this. The way you said that just makes me feel like you're about to just snap your fingers and spike that shit. I don't think it's the type of person he is, but that's the vibe I just gave off for a second. I don't like it at all. Anything. <laughs> oh, if, shit. If, if mom had the clues, I don't know what they are. You have to figure this out. That boy dead. He died in a fire in Fairchild Manor. A fire that your father set. <sighs> the, 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 the ending of a story that my mother needed me to hear, but... Is that what she meant to unlock? How do... Is that what happened to her baguette? She pushed it into the thing? But... Uh, also, what about the, the contents on the inside? I know where my mother hid the cup. Fucking do you? Where? Because I fucking don't. Whole point is, we can't let asshole get the damn cup. That's legit the entire point of all that, but that's a really, really, really good episode. Uh, Clary learns the truth about her past. I like Hulu's blurbs because they're always really just straightforward and to the point. Uh, there's not really much else that needs to be said. She, yeah, learns the truth. Uh, we just can't let we can't let Val get the cup. But we we see we go back and know that Luke and Val are parapetai. That it seemed like there was an affair, but there wasn't. But he did kind of fall in love with her in the end game and ends up becoming, you know, Clary's step daddy. Regardless, so 
not really an affair at that point, but you get what I'm saying. Simon's still struggling with his inner demons. We see butting heads with him and Jace. We see Alec, who is still, I I think Alec's just unsure. Like, yes, I think he knows that he loves Jace, but I think he's unsure of himself and his own sexuality about what he actually feels. And maybe it's, Either that or he just he's too scared to admit it. Maybe he's scared of the ramifications of maybe his peers, his brothers, his sister, his mother. Maybe he's just scared of what people's going to think of him. And he has this opportunity with Magnus, who is a much older, much more experienced individual. And that can be intimidating for him, or maybe it's not. Magnus, like he said, playing coy, who's <clears throat> you know cut off feelings for almost a century from anybody else other than his previous love. But like he said, something else has been unlocked within him at this point. And you see something in Alec. That he hopes Alec sees in return for him. So some good stuff there. there. There's good groundwork for for some love stories. I mean, we have Magnus and Alec. <clears throat> I don't know. Excuse me, my throat's feeling a little weird. I don't know if where Isabel's going to go. If she's going to stay in this political role, or maybe she'll branch out. Maybe with with Simon or with somebody else that's yet to be introduced. We have Clary and her interest in Jace, and obviously Simon's interest in Jace. We haven't seen. Uh, I don't forgot her name now. Moraine. Uh, Mon I keep saying mundane, so everything's confused. She has her interest, the other band member, in Simon, obviously. And there's there's a bunch of inner whining, intertwining bullshits going on. There's a lot of side characters we haven't seen enough of. They are doing a good job of sticking to the story, but there's not enough involvement from some of these side characters just yet. I mean, here we get, you know, these angel blood, these angelic abilities. She has this thing she can pop with the drawings. We can't let Val get his hands in the Mortal Cup because he wants to make more Shadow Hunter, the Shadow Hunter, Shadow Hunter thing. Uh, it can just spell disaster. We got Raziel, who they mentioned. Will he be shown at some point? The flashbacks, I think, is my only problem with the episode because it does look hyper corny. Like, they could just be the same age as they are now. Like, they don't look tremendously younger. Um, And then more and more exposition on Jocelyn as time goes. It's good. It's all good stuff. We get the alleged backstory of Luke turning into a werewolf about the attack that happened, about how Val set him up. So I like that there's some good flashbacks. I may need to pay a little more attention in editing of this because there are some points where they were talking where I started trying to like focus on background details or what was said two scenes ago or trying to predict what's going to happen without actually saying it. So while being focused, I also wasn't focused on this one for a little bit. I'll openly admit that. So I'm going to go back during the Val part um, where he's talking about you know the flashback and rewatch that heavily during editing just to so have a better understanding of what was what was mentioned if that makes sense but this this might be the best episode so far Simon's still going through it obviously uh, I still stand by I think that Clary is supposed to be this uniter this this peace bringer if that's the word to go about and uh, yeah I, I look forward to seeing what's going on so I mean this is almost pretty much uh, essentially the halfway point, because from here we have seven episodes. We've watched six. So in the middle of this next episode will be our halfway point, and uh, we can we can take it from there. I uh, I hope Alec comes into his own. I hope Jason Simon put aside this pissing contest. And uh, I mean, he said some shit to Oh Simon Boy that was just rough, rough. Called his ass out. Meanwhile, Simon's tripping. But you can see that Jace wanted to help him if there was something else that happened in the Vampire Hotel, in Vampire Manor. So I just don't know why he doesn't just come forward and say something, because these people can help you. Who does Alec have to marry? Like, is Isabel going to get stripped of her ability to be herself, to fill this political role set upon her by her mother and father? There's a lot. There's a lot. Season 1, Episode 6 right there, was entitled Of Men and Angels. Season 1, Episode 7 is Major Arcana. And I will see you there. As always, links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.